Hey guys, this is Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I'm back in Minecraft 1.12 with something really different that I haven't done before. So, as you can see, today I have for you nothing. There is nothing in this world. This is because today I'm going to create a mini game on camera and I'm going to do it with just a few common blocks. So I had a really crazy idea yesterday while testing out my Pandora's box command. If you haven't watched it already, I will leave a card appearing on the screen here. But anyways, I was testing uh, one of the effects that set up an entire area with fire. So if I fill this area with fire, let me show you guys what I mean by minigame and how I'm gonna exploit a really nice mechanic uh, of Minecraft. And then I'm gonna fill it with fire. Alright, so this entire area was filled with, with fire. One cool mechanic, one cool feature of fire is that it puts out randomly. So some of these blocks will uh, end up being on fire quickly, some of them will end up being on fire later than others. And as you can see, some of the fire disappeared and it's going to do it randomly. So the crazy idea that I had is that to use this mechanic to create a mini game which is called The Floor is Lava with just a few common blocks. Now, I don't know how many common blocks I will need to make it work, but I think, I think that I'm, I'll be able to do it with four or five common blocks and I'm not even kidding. Now, I'm not really sure about it because I didn't do it and I'm going to do it on camera. So let me show you guys what I mean by creating this mini game. So first of all, I need to get an armor stand. All right, and what I want to do, whoops, I wanna fill this entire area here. It is a nine by nine cube. Actually, it's not a cube, it's just a square. I want to fill it with armor stands, just like I'm doing. I have to make sure that there is only one armor stand per block. All right. So probably I'm going to cut this video so you guys don't have to wait and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So the whole square is now filled with armor stands. And what I have to do, I have to modify these armor stands a bit. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use the slash entity data command. And then at E type equals armor underscore stand. And I'm gonna make them, uh, I'm gonna call them a custom name and I'm gonna call them, them AS1, armor stands 1. I'm gonna make them invisible 1 and I'm gonna make them marker 1 and then also I'm gonna remove the gravity, so no gravity colon 1. Alright, all of them are now invisible, they are marker and basically this is what we have. So now it is really simple, the mechanic. I'm, I need to get myself a command block. Let's create a line of command blocks. So the first one is set on repeat and all is active, just like this. And what I have to do when I click, all right, I have to add also another command block here. So let's use the fill command. I need to fill this entire area with fire. So let's do it, fill, boom, boom, boom. And then how many coordinates? Oops, I got too many coordinates, all right. And then let's use fire, just like this. And now, Look at how simple it is. All right, so I'm gonna add a button here. So every time that I wanna start the level, uh, it's gonna set this entire area with fire. And now it's pretty simple. So every time that fire is detected on one of these invisible armor stands, I'm gonna set a block on top of those armor stands. So basically when fire disappears, the block on top of the armor stands disappear and basically the whole mini game is done. And I think that I'm gonna be able to do it with only two command blocks. All right, that's amazing. So, all right, execute. So let's do, first of all, I have to set up the area above the armor stands. For example, this area here. Yes, maybe a bit more up in the air. All right, I'm gonna set this area here with air. So slash fill, all right. And then second coordinates, I think that I'm at the same height. And then I'm gonna fill this area with air and set this here on the command block so it is constantly run. So this area is going to be filled with air constantly. Now what I have to do, one, two, three, four blocks on top of the armor stands. I need to place another command block on top of the line, set it to chain and always active. And now I'm gonna use a simple slash execute command. Let's execute at e name as1 because those armor stands were named as1. Then I'm gonna detect if there is fire. So uh, fire minus one. And if there is fire, I'm gonna set block, boom, and then four blocks above them. I'm gonna set block, what block should I set? Maybe glass, I don't know, no, some other terracotta blocks. All right, let's set the green terracotta block, which is stained and hardened clay 13. Stained, hardened uh, clay, and then 13. All right, so now, every time that there is fire, Come on, why it is not working? I did something wrong. Stained, hard, oh, here it is. All right, so every time that there is fire, 
Uh, basically, these armor stands will set a block on top of them. When the fire disappears, so for example, let's make this disappear, also the block will disappear. Meaning that I basically created the whole mini game with just two command blocks. That's basically it. So basically the purpose of this game, what you have to do, you have to survive and remain the last on this floor here. And the floor is going to gradually disappear. As you can see, it's going to do it even faster as the time passes. And you will have to be the last one surviving here. So basically what I can do, I need to add maybe just another command block that kills all of the players that fall down in this area here. And that's pretty much it, I'm done. So let's see what coordinates this block has. Set, uh, let's use a set block command. All right, this coordinates here. Look how simple it is. All right, let's add another command block here. And then I'm gonna just kill at E x equals all right 55 y equals 61 and z equals 231 and then i'm gonna use the x equals how many blocks is going towards positive z uh towards negative x is going one two three four five six seven eight blocks towards negative x so minus eight then dy equals zero maybe one let's do it and dz equals is going eight blocks towards positive z so let's write eight and that's pretty much it now every time i am in this area here i will be killed so now let's uh, set up the mini game again and basically you, you you can have multiple players here of course you can add a barrier so they can't jump off here and basically that's pretty much it guys i have recreated a whole mini game with only three command blocks let's say four because this is the one that set up, sets up the new level but basically i have recreated the floris lava mini game using only four command blocks so guys if you did enjoy this special video and if you want to see more stuff like this that i do on camera don't forget to drop a like especially for this really cool mini game i it just came in my mind yesterday when i was using um let's see if i can finish this level at least let me test it out all right Ooh, and i died so that's pretty much it guys and maybe i could add another command that basically tells which is the last one player standing on the thing but um the main purpose of this video is to recreate the mini game and i successfully did it so yeah guys that was pretty much it about this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more creative content like this oh and also you will find the download link for this world if you for any reason need it in the description of this video on my web page so guys as always, I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you. Bye.